So today I am coming to you with a challenge, okay? The challenge is to serve others. Let me tell you, I recently read on Instagram something that said reasons why you should do something for free. And then you would swipe and swipe and swipe and swipe. And then at the last, you know, picture, it said, oh, you see, there are absolutely no reasons why you should do something for free. And a lot of people were like reposting that. And I looked at it and I was like, eh, not really biblical. <laughs> I'm not telling you to just spend your entire life serving others for no reason, but I'm just telling you there is value in serving others. Here's what the Bible says, okay? In uh, Matthew, it says in chapter 20, verse 28, even as the son of man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life right? Matthew 23, verse 11, the greatest among you shall be a servant. In 1 Peter 4, 10, as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as God stewards of God's grace, okay? Let me tell you something, you guys, there is so many blessings, <laughs> you know, when you are choosing to serve others. I cannot count um, the, 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 like how many times I have been blessed because I chose to bless someone else, right? Last week we spoke about the, the secret place and how God rewards what you do in the secret place. You know, I get it and I share it with you. Work hard, you know, use your gifts, use your talents, work, save, invest, you know, leave a legacy for your children's children. I get it. I have I have preached all these messages, right? But I I believe with all my heart that there is so much value and um, such a treasure, a hidden treasure that is in serving others, okay? Today, some of the fruits that I'm reaping is because I chose to um, um, serve others for 10 years, honestly, 10 years serving someone, you know? And today I am getting like rewards from that, you know? So the Lord sees what you're doing in the secret place. If you have a, a neighbor, you know, a new mom who has like three kids and she's like working so hard and trying to juggle everything and you have time, go over and do it for free, guys. You know, bless others so that you may receive blessings as well. I remember we used to clean uh, my church and we would do it for hours, right? And we were not getting paid or anything and we would remove the trash and I mean, we would literally clean for like a full day of work, right? And then um, me and some of those friends, we used to laugh and just say like, you know what? Our reward is in heaven. The Lord Jesus will bless us. And over and over again, he did. He blessed us. He blessed us so much. He blessed us beyond what we could think or imagine. There was favor that came towards me because of just deciding to serve. So let me encourage you, really, just serve others. Believe that the Lord is able to pay you what no man can pay you. Let me tell you, he will pay you what no human being can put on a check, right? How much is worth your health? How much is it worth to have peace in your heart? How much is it worth to have, you know, children that are being growing and raised in, in, in the love of Jesus? Like, how much is that worth? How much can a human being pay you for that? So serve others, guys. Serve others. Serve others and the Lord will bless you. Amen? Father God, I thank you so much, Jesus, that you, God, the Lord of Lords, the beginning and the end, you know, uh, came on earth and you came not only to be served, but to serve others. You humbled yourself, Jesus. You went on your knees and washed our feet, Heavenly Father. And Jesus, I pray that we would look at you and be more like you, that we would truly be little images of Christ in our lives, that we would serve others, that everything would not be about money and about how much are you going to do this for me for, etc. I pray, God, that we would have that same heart that you had when you came down to serve us. In your mighty name, Jesus, I pray. Amen.